Welcome back for this last segment of advanced body painting techniques. Instead of basing her out with the airbrush like I did on the last lesson, on this lesson we're going to base her out with the Kabuki brush with a water-based paint, which will be nice for her because it'll be really easy to wash off at the end of the day. The next step here is to establish some of these geometric shapes. So using a brush that is roughly the width of these segments that I'm looking to create is the best place to start. So when she's just standing here, you just kind of want it to read as what it's supposed to be and, and nothing more. There's supposed to be an embellishment, not a focal point. This is just a few steps and some things to consider when you're planning to render your armor. We're gonna wrap up the day today with some traditional illustrative techniques. Color blocking, 3D protrusion, foreshortening. There's no second guessing what you're looking at right now. The imagery already, even without all that detail, is already fairly impactful, so that's a win. It's something that you have to play with and practice with, and it's not gonna come naturally. I got my start in the art world as a comic book illustrator, and I had no idea that all of the skill sets that I developed in that line of work were gonna dovetail so nicely into this. Definitely a wealth of knowledge where that's concerned, and I hope to share some of that with you today.